Okay, we're going to wait for the students if they appear and we are going to begin in a couple of minutes, okay? Let's wait a little bit. Hello, good evening, Irma Raquel. How are you? Good evening, very nice. Okay, very good, perfect. Uh, let's see, it's uh, almost uh, the weekend, right? Are you going to do something this weekend? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But you so you are going to rest on this weekend, but solo va a descansar el fin de semana o va a trabajar. Not working right yet. Okay. Just to just to rest. Okay, very good. Uh, you have to rest uh right now that you can. Very good. Do you have any question about uh, the platform or any other um, doubt? Preguntas de la plataforma. Uh -huh. El mismo ejercicio que mandó el compañero la vez pasada, uh -huh. este, que mandó al grupo la captura, esa misma tengo. ¿Y eh, sabe de, de cuál es? Eh, creo que aquí, aquí la tengo, la captura, la voy a. La voy a buscar. Es. Es de, de donde, donde se ocupa los modal verbs. Uh -huh. Can you please take the card? Eh, donde dice don't, don't sit there. Y en, entre paréntesis está will you me. Entonces uh -huh. ya lo puse de, de muchas maneras y siempre me aparece en rojo. No sé en qué. En qué. Ok, I'm, I'm going to check right now. Déjenme ver. El, ¿En cuál está en, en, okay. está en el section 1, 2, 3? En el midterm. Midterm. Mid uh -huh. Ok. Let me open it right now. Yeah, because it's kind of loading. Let me open it again. Okay. And it's exercise a one, two, do you know? Es el, 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 es el tres. Number three. Okay, I will look for it right now. It's in the midterm test, right? Okay. Okay, we have section three here, the midterm. And it's the three. The listening. Is this one listening? Letter C. Or is this one rewriting? With could. Is this one Irma? Because if it is this one is like this one, we just need to add, uh, could you, right? Could you close the door, please? 
for example, right? In number two, would you, right? Would you please take out the garbage? Let's see, would you mind? Is this one, Irma? Yes. Okay. Do not sit here. Would you mind? Not. Would you mind not sitting here? Let me see here. Vamos a ver las respuestas porque esta. Aha. Would you mind not sitting here? Sitting mm -hmm. here. Ahí es donde, donde estaba el problema. Uh -huh. Can you please take the cat out? Cat out. And the last one. Could you repeat that, please? Y recuerden que las comas también tienen que ponerlas. Could you repeat that, please, comma? please, right? And we are going to submit it. Vamos a enviarlo. Aunque las tenga buenas, están malas siempre para usted. No, solo, eh, ya todos están bien, solo me, eh, esa que le digo, la tres era. Ah, yes. Pero yo creo que ahí porque, porque le falta el signo de, de preguntas. Ajá, el question mark, exactly. Ajá. It is a question mark. Vamos a ver, quiero solo cerciorarme. Question mark. Yes, because it's a it's a question, right? Would you mind not sitting there? And this one it's there. Can you please take uh -huh. it's a question mark? Okay, let's see. Yes, correct. Thank you, Irma. You see, you help me, you see. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. So, yes. Yes, exactly. It is like that. So, it's that those are uh, the answers for this one is would you mind not sitting, right? Not sitting there. That would be the would you mind not sitting there? Very good. Perfect. So, if you have any question, any problem, let me know and we will try to fix it uh, right now. Si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda de la plataforma. Uh, solo hágamelo saber. But we are going to finish uh, today with this one, right? Or actually, we started yesterday. Uh, do you remember we were what we were talking about? ¿Se acuerda de lo que estábamos hablando? Past, present, and future. Past, present, and future, exactly. So like a time contrast, right? We were talking about that. And we we're talking about how the things have changed. As a homework, I told you to describe your city. Do you remember? Look for information about the past, like something uh, about the city or something that was created before. For example, I live in Santa Ana and in Santa Ana before there were a lot of movie theaters, a lot like there were like seven movie theaters or eight movie theaters. Uh, probably because people didn't have TVs, right? And now everybody has a TV. And uh, But in the past, there were a lot of movie theaters. And nowadays, I think that there are only two or one. So the times changed. Actually, one time there was only, we didn't have any movie theater. We have to go to San Salvador to watch movies. So that was really sad. And also... We have to save money to go to watch movies, right? So, and now nowadays, now we have a movie theater, which uh, is really cool. But it, it, it's it's different, like like how the time changes. It's different como cambian las cosas, right? Because before we had a lot of movie theaters. Nowadays, only we have one. Antes teníamos varios uh, cines en Santa Ana y ahora solo tenemos uno. So. And that's how I think it changed. And also it's getting bigger, but some the, the city is getting, or I guess that all of the cities in El Salvador are getting bigger and bigger, but I don't know, probably um, 
we we also we have we have to take care of the trees right also tenemos que cuidar los árboles the water the mountains all of that so that's what we have to do and i don't know if any of you investigated about the city before or something that existed in the past and now it doesn't exist or how you see your city in the future for example okay uh christian uh which city are you going to talk about where do you live uh, i live in santa ana teacher before uh a steam train circulator throughout the city mm -hmm. and now it doesn't exist there are more buses taxis and ubers probably in the future there will be an electric or magnetic train that runs throughout the entire city yes exactly that's correct that's uh, that's something that changed right probably in the in the future it is going to be like that but in the past we have a train right and now we don't have a train anymore just buses, cat, taxis, and cars. Really good, perfect, Christian. Very interesting. And Irma, uh, do you have any information? Um, I live in a watch town. Uh huh. It is one of the most important cities from the western area. Is the nice most populous municipality uh, has a river. It is between the Salvador and Guatemala. Mm -hmm. um, many people could visit in the Holy Week for going to the river. It's a place beautiful. I like so much. Okay, and what is the place where everybody visits? The river. The river. river. The river. Rio Pass. Ah, okay. Rio Pass. Rio Pass. Okay. So in, in Easter and La Semana Santa, many people go there to Rio Pass? Yes, many people. Do you go there? Excuse me? Do you go there? Usted si va ahí también? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. In what other part of of a watch upon can i go if i want to visit um the park the park is beautiful right and also in eastern and semana santa can i go there mm, well, so the, the, the people go to the river okay to the river is it a big river or a small river um it's more or menos small so so okay we're good very good. I will try to go there because I, I, I like a watch upon. I used to teach in a watch upon. Okay, very good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you for coming, Tanya. I, we are talking about the homework, right? That described your city. Uh, how was your city before? How is your city now? And or how do you think your city will be in the future? Uh, Tanya, did you, did you do the homework, Tanya? Yes, Mr. Yes, okay. And uh, where do you live or what city you're going to talk about? Uh, I live in Lolotica, San Miguel City. In San Miguel. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how was San Miguel or how is San Miguel right now? Uh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot, right? It's hot. <laughs> is, it, is it hot right now? And yes, it's it's very, very hot. <laughs> and is it hotter in Easter and Semana Santa es más caliente or it's the same? Mm. Well, todo el tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> no hay diferencia. <laughs> no difference is the same. <laughs> okay, very good. But uh, in mm. San Miguel, is it is better now or it was better before? What do you think? Um, in the past. Era mejor antes o ahora? O ¿Cuál era la diferencia? No, no I, I do different. It's better 
right now? It's better now. Yes, I think it is bigger, right? And you have a lot of things now. Mm. Or no? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's, it's, it's a different. Uh, and, it, and if I want to visit San Miguel, where should I go? Si quiero ir a San Miguel, ¿qué, qué, qué visito? ¿Qué, ¿Dónde puedo ir? Um, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have beautiful uh, beaches, right? Yes or no? Uh, the beach, the cuco. El cuco, right? Yes. Can uh -huh. I go? Uh, can I go to in Semana Santa or no? Um. Yes. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes, 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 uh, so actually the cities are changing or are, are going to change right more in the future. So that's what, that's what we were talking about. Time contrast, the past, the present, and the future. And we were talking about this, um, this conversation, right? So I told you that we are going to read it. And we are going to read it and we are going to practice a little bit more. The pronunciation. Vamos a escucharla, pero vamos a leerla lentamente para ver nada más la pronunciación, okay? Again, so, eh, if you have any question about the pronunciation, let me know. This, esto es solo para pronunciación, okay? Okay, I will read it, and then we are going to listen. It says, Tom, I, ha I hardly recognize our old neighborhood. A few years ago, there were just houses around here. Mia, I know they're building a lot of new apartments. The whole neighborhood's different. Remember the little burger restaurant we used to go to after school? Hamburger Heaven? Of course. Now it's another office tower, and I hear they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. That's such a shame. Pretty soon the neighborhood will just be a bunch of malls and maybe there won't be any schools anymore. Probably not. Kids will study from their computers anywhere they want. So they won't hang out with their friends after school that's too bad. I enjoy meeting our friends at that burger place after class. Seriously? That's a thing of the past. Nowadays, kids only meet online. Now, do you have any question about any word? Alguna pregunta de alguna palabra que sea difícil pronunciar? Is recognize? Yes. I hardly recognize. I hardly recognize. Hardly recognize. Recognize. Okay. Yeah. Uh, recognize. Re exactly. Re recognize. Exactly. Okay. Another one. Nothing. Okay. Recognize. Yeah. Recognize neighborhood. Also, right. Neighborhood is vecindario right neighborhood um let's see another one building is not building no it's building la uno se pronuncia en building building edificio apartments apartments no right apartments no lleva la a, verdad como en español apartments burger right little burger right restaurant it's like in spanish resta no es restaurante restaurant but it's resto, restaurant. And what else? Tower, tower is torre, verdad? Office tower, tower. 
uh, tearing down. Tearing down es derrumbar, ¿verdad? Tearing down. Uh, shopping mall. Shopping mall is like Metro Centro, right? Or Unicentro, right? It depends. Shopping mall. Uh, let's see. Bunch of malls. Bunch es como un montón, ¿verdad? De malls. De centros comerciales. Malls. Uh, what else? What else? Hang out, right? So they won't hang out. Hang out es como ir a, a pasear con los amigos, ¿verdad? salir, hang out. And the last one, nowadays. It's not nowadays, no, nowadays, no se pronuncia, it's nowadays. Nowadays es hoy en día. Hoy en día. Seriously, también seriously. Seriamente, o, o no es seriamente, es en serio, right? En serio, ¿cómo se dice en serio in English? Seriously, right? Seriously, that's a thing of the past. Nowadays, kids only meet online. Ahora solo los niños se conocen en línea o por internet, ¿verdad? Online. So, that is the conversation about. Those are the changes in the city. Esos son los cambios en la ciudad. We are going to listen to it again. La vamos a escuchar una vez más. And we are going to check how we pronounce it. Vamos a ver cómo la pronunciamos. It's a thing of the past. Part A. Listen. Can you listen to it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. And practice. I hardly recognize our old neighborhood. A few years ago, there were just houses around here. I know. They're building a lot of new apartments. The whole neighborhood's different. Remember the little burger restaurant we used to go to after school? Hamburger Heaven? Of course. Now it's another office tower. And I hear they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. That's such a shame. Pretty soon, the neighborhood will just be a bunch of malls. And maybe there won't be any schools anymore. Probably not. Kids will study from their computers anywhere they want. So they won't hang out with their friends after school? That's too bad. I enjoyed meeting our friends at that burger place after class. Seriously, that's a thing of the past. Nowadays, kids only meet online. Okay, perfect. We are going to listen to it again, okay? Pay attention because... Uh, after this will be your turn, okay? Después de esto, vamos a ver cómo lo pronunciamos. Let's see. That's a thing of the past. Part A. Listen and practice. I hardly recognize our old neighborhood. A few years ago, there were just houses around here. I know. They're building a lot of new apartments. The whole neighborhood's different. Remember the little burger restaurant we used to go to after school? Hamburger Heaven? Of course. Now it's another office tower. And I hear they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. That's such a shame. Pretty soon the neighborhood will just be a bunch of malls. And maybe there won't be any schools anymore. Probably not. Kids will study from their computers anywhere they want. So they won't hang out with their friends after school? That's too bad. I enjoyed meeting our friends at that burger place after class. Seriously, that's a thing of the past. Nowadays, kids only meet online. Okay, perfect. Now we have listened to it. Now let's see how we have better the pronunciation. Vamos a ver cómo hemos mejorado la pronunciación. I need two volunteers, dos voluntarios. I teach Okay, Christian and who else? Irma. Okay, so Christian will be Tom and Irma, Irma will be Mia, okay? You can go ahead, please. Okay, I hardly recognize our old, na our old neighbor a few years ago. There's where just houses around here. I know they're building a lot, uh, a lot of new apartments. The world neighborhood different. Remember the little burger restaurant 
We used to go to after school. Hamburger, haven't? Of course, not if another office tower. And I hear they, they, they're in down our high school. They're going to the school a shop in a small. That's such a shame. Pretty soon the neighborhood will just be a bunch of small. And maybe there won't be any school anymore. Probably not. It will exclude from their computer anywhere they want. So they, so they don't hang out with their friends after school? That's too bad. I enjoy meeting our friends at the burger place after class. Seriously? That's a thing of the past nowhere I see, only me online. Very good, perfect. Very good. I think it's better than yesterday. Very good. You see, if you keep like listening and repeating slowly, you will be able to um, better uh, the way you sound, right? The pronunciation, the intonation better. Now we have Tania. Uh, now Tania will be Tom. And Christian, please help Tania. You will be me, okay? Okay. Okay. I have Tania. Tom. Yes. Tom, on me. <laughs> Tom, Tom. Tom, okay. <laughs> I hardly recognize our old neighborhood. A few years ago, they were just house around here. I know. They're building a lot of new apartments. They were neighborhoods different. Uh, remember the little burger restaurant we used to go to after school, Hamburger Heaven? Of course. Now there's another office tower, and I hear they, they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. That shows a change. It's pretty soon the neighborhoods to just the bush of mouth and maybe there won't be any school anymore. Probably not. Kids will study from their computers anywhere they want. So they won't come up with their friends after school. That's too bad. I enjoy the meeting of the friends at the book at the place after class. Seriously? That's a thing of the past. Nowadays, kids only meet online. Okay, very good. Perfect, very good. Let's see. Um, very good. Actually, all of the words intonation were really good. Let's remember that it's um, shopping mall, right? Shopping mall. Shopping mall. And... This one, whole, whole, right? The whole, the whole neighborhood's different. El vecindario completo es completo, es diferente. ¿verdad? The whole quiere decir que todo, ¿verdad? Todo el vecindario, the whole neighborhood. Eso significa whole. The whole house, toda la casa, the whole house. Uh, the whole country, todo el país, the whole, right? So that is the difference. Perfect, very good. Now uh, we are going to watch a video. I want you to identify the, the time contrast. Vamos a ver otras personas hablando. Quiero que identifiquen eh, los contrastes de tiempo en el video. ¿Cuáles son las expresiones que ustedes pueden ver? Let's see. Five friends. Uh, what Let's get started. Five friends are watching a reality TV show together. Why are they laughing so much? I don't know. This is a terrible show. I liked it a few years ago. Yeah, a few years ago it was really original. But nowadays it's just the same formula every time. I agree. Soon no one will watch reality TV. Yeah, last decade these shows were really creative. Lots of people like them. 
I know, but these days people hate them. Do you know what people will never hate? Pizza. Do you want a slice? So in the perfect. So we had a uh, different information in this conversation. Um, where what were the um, phrases that you were able to identify in the conversation? ¿Cuáles son las frases que ellos dijeron? Together. Mm -hmm. Not so much. No a day. Mm -hmm. Last day. Exactly. So we have soon, nowadays, used to, a few years ago, in a few years, these days. Do you know all of them? ¿Saben cuál es el significado de todas? Do you know the meaning of all of them? We have soon, nowadays, used to, a few years ago, in a few years, these days. Nowadays, es todos los días, but... no. Uh, every day is todos los días. Every. Nowadays is hoy en día. Hoy en día. Hoy en... Exactly. Okay. So, for example, if I say nowadays, El Salvador is... Um, getting better, let's say, right? Nowadays, the El Salvador is getting better, right? Hoy en día. What is the meaning of soon? ¿Qué significa soon? What is the meaning of that? Soon. Pronto. Pronto, exactly. If I say, it's going to rain soon. Va a llover pronto, right? It's going to rain soon. A few years ago. What is the meaning of a few years ago? Cinco años. Hace cinco años. Oh. No. A few. Vamos a, a dividirlo. A few. ¿Qué significa a few? A few. Un poco. Un poco. Hace, 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 hace pocos años. Hace, hace pocos años, exactly. A few years ago, hace pocos años. A few, un poco, de ¿verdad? Years, años, ago, hace. Hace pocos años. Very good. These days, what is the meaning of these days? Estos días. Estos días. So, these days, right? The present, these days. In a few years. In a few years. What is the meaning of in a few years? En unos años. En unos años, very good. O en pocos años, very good. En unos años, esto va a cambiar. Or in a few years, we will have more houses. Depends. It depends, right? Very good. Perfect. And what was the conversation about? ¿De qué estaban hablando ellos? La conversación de qué era? ¿Qué estaban criticando o hablando? De los programas de, de televisión. Exactly, reality TV is right. Reality TV is like, the, in, do they like it nowadays or they don't like it anymore? Uh, don't like it. They don't like it, right? They don't like reality TV shows uh, now, now, nowadays. They said that in the past, uh, they used to be different, right? Very good, perfect, perfect. Now we are going to see some contrast, right? Vamos a ver un poco de contrastes. Let's see here. Adverbs, let me see. Okay, adverbs of time. Uh, adverbios de tiempo los podemos utilizar para decir uh, cosas como ahora y hoy en día, etc. Right? Uh, antes. In the futuro, right? Adverbs of time will tell us when an action happened, but also for how long and how often. Adverbs of time are invariable. They are extremely common in English. Adverbs of time have standard positions in a sentence, depending on what uh, the adverb of time is telling us. Y podemos utilizar diferentes adverbios. Algunos adverbios de tiempo son yesterday, tomorrow, today, Later, now, last year. 
Esos son los ocupamos para decir cuándo, ¿verdad? Uh, for, for example, I saw Sally today, right? Vi a Sally hoy. I will call you later. Te voy a llamar después. Or tomorrow, mañana, ¿verdad? I have to leave now. Me tengo que ir ahorita, ¿verdad? Now, right now. I saw that movie last year. Vi esa película el año pasado. Last year, right? Last year, last month. ¿Cómo se hizo last month? Eh, oh, perdón, el mes pasado, last month, ¿verdad? Last month. And we have a lot, actually. We have a lot. Uh, these are some adverbs of time that we can see. We can have points of time like tomorrow, tonight, yesterday, now, then, today. Relationship in time, already, before, early, eventually, finally, first, last, late. A lot, as you can see. We have also adverbs uh, in definite or frequency. Este de frecuencia, ¿verdad? Eso nos, eso nos ocupamos para decir qué tan seguido hacemos las cosas, como a veces, siempre, nunca. Y adverbs of definite frequency. Eh, son los indefinidos y los definidos, ¿verdad? Es cuando queremos hacer algo o diario, como decimos que nosotros vamos a trabajar diario. We go to work daily, right? Daily. Eh, annually, anualmente, right? A uh, fortnightly, como un día sí, un día no, ¿verdad? Hourly, eh, por hora o cada hora, ¿verdad? Monthly, cada mes. Weekly, cada semana. Nightly, cada noche. Quarterly, cada cuatro meses. And yearly, cada año. Entonces, uh, those are adverbs of time. We, uh, this is vocabulary for you to have it. Um, and that you can use, right, to express time. ¿Alguna palabra que quieran saber o alguna que nunca hayan visto? ¿O cómo quieren que se pronuncie la pronunciation? ¿Any? Eh, por ejemplo, trimestralmente o, o algo parecido. ¿Cómo decir trimestral? Ajá. Um, quarterly. Es quarterly porque el año se divide en 12 meses. Entonces, si lo dividimos en cuatro, son tres meses cada cuarto, ¿verdad? So, ah, okay. quarterly sería trimestral. Quarterly. Ah, okay. Another one? What is the meaning? Seldom. 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 Seldom, <laughs> Seldom. <laughs> Seldom es como rara vez, como a veces, ¿verdad? Como rara vez pasa eso, no tan seguido. That is seldom. Another one? Casi no hay diferencia entre seldom y sometimes. Sometimes is more. A ver, sometimes es más. It's es como un, a un 50%. Y seldom es como un 40%, 30%. A uh, okay. uh, fortnightly, actually, fortnightly eh, no es un día sí, un día no, sino que fortnightly es quincenal. Cuando nos pagan, ¿verdad? En el trabajo, when we get paid, we can say biweekly también. Podemos decir uh, biweekly, cada dos semanas, biweekly, or fortnightly, quincenal, fortnightly. It's here. Aquí está abajito. And adverse of definite frequency, frequency, fortnightly. But the ones that we are going to use son estos. Lo que vamos a hacer son, lo que vamos a usar son los primeros, the points of time. Tomorrow, tonight, yesterday, now, then, today. Those are the ones that we are going to use. So this uh, was mentioned in the video. Now, I want me to tell, I, I want you to tell me Uh, what is the ones that we use for the past? ¿Cuáles usamos para el pasado de esas frases? Those time contrast. Which ones do we use in the past? I used to. Used to. Uh -huh. Used to and a few years ago. For present, para el presente, which one do we use? No way. No way. No way. Uh -huh. This day. This day. Exactly. Nowadays and these days. And for future? Soon. 
soon uh, a few years in a few years exactly perfect so this is how we use it right in the past used to used to es solía solía ser así pero ya no lo es verdad it used to it used to be beautiful solía ser bonito it used to be um i don't know uh, with more trees it solía tener más it used to have more trees so solía tener más árboles right pero ahora ya no a few years ago we already know that present nowadays these days future soon in a few years perfect time contrast we also need to select the correct tense okay so as uh, 70 years ago people watch black and white movies so 70 years ago is the past time frame es el, el, esta frase para decir hace cuánto ocurrió verdad 70 hace 70 años 70 years ago people watched right watched is in past so if we are going to talk about something that already happened we are going to use the simple past nowadays so nowadays is the phrase right to say that something is happening right right now in these days and we have to use the simple present usamos el presente para hablar del presente right nowadays people watch 3D movies. Ahora, hoy en día, la gente mira películas en 3D. Y soon, that is a future time, right? That's a phrase for future time. People will be able to smell movies. Will. So, will is the future, right? Will. Pronto, las personas uh, podrán oler las películas. Actually, there are some movie theaters that use that, but actually didn't work out that well. But probably in the future, we will be able to smell movies. Okay, questions about this? Preguntas acerca de los tiempos? No, right? Past in the past, right? Present, present. And will for future, right? And we have these examples. A hundred years ago, People used a horse and cart. These days, people drive cars. In 50 years, people will use jetpacks. I don't think so, right? Jetpacks, but uh, cohetes, right? But um, this is like uh, just uh, an idea, right? Very good. So uh, do you have any questions about time contrast? Preguntas? Ok, perfecto. Let's see here. Ok, vamos a terminar con un ejercicio, pero antes y mañana vamos a tener un ejercicio de pronunciación. Let me see here. Creo que vamos a dejar el, en la tarea para el lunes. No le voy a dejar tarea, pero el lunes sí le voy a dejar tarea. Así que este, solo vamos a leer estas slides. Let's see. Uh, Irma, can you read this information, please? Puede leer estas información, por favor. It says time contrast. We can use the past, present, and future to contrast or show the difference between periods of time. Uh, lea las oraciones, por favor. Okay. Thirty years ago, people didn't have smartphones. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we use a smartphone to do everything. Mm -hmm. In the future, in the future, we might have a smart glass instead, instead of phone. Very good. ¿Alguna pregunta que sea nueva? Any new word? We have very good in the future we might have smart glasses instead of phones might might is podría right uh, so we use might also to talk about the future might podríamos tener habes tener verdad we might have nosotros podríamos tener we might have so that is the meaning of might have let's see smart glasses son uh, glasses son anteojos, right? Smart glasses, anteojos inteligentes, right? 
Instead, what is the meaning of instead? ¿Qué significa instead? En lugar, ¿verdad? O en vez de. In the future, we might have smart glasses instead of phones. En lugar de teléfonos, ¿verdad? En lugar de teléfonos, vamos a utilizar smart glasses. Very good. And these are time contrasts. Estas son las fórmulas, ¿verdad? Time expression. A time expression is 100 years ago. In the past, um, subject, right? People, teenagers, past verb, and then complement. That is a time expression. Uh, let's see here in the past, right? A hundred years ago, people walked to go to places. In the past, teenagers used to write letters to communicate with others. In the past, people had gold and silver to pay for things. Um, one question. In the past, we are talking about the simple past. Ese ya lo estudiaron, ¿verdad? ¿Ya lo manejan más o menos o necesitan un review? ¿Eso lo, lo manejan bien sí. o...? Más o menos. Más o menos. ¿Quisieran que les diera un, un repaso solo del simple past, del pasado? Para el sí, lunes. Sí, por favor. ¿verdad? Ok, para el lunes. <risa> No, yes, okay. So we are going to have a review for the simple past. Vamos a ver. Entonces ya tenemos, lo voy a apuntar porque si no se me va a olvidar. Solo va a ser un, algo pequeño, ¿verdad? Solo una pequeña explicación. What is teenagers? What is teenagers? For example, how old are you, Christian? ¿Cuántos años tiene usted, Christian? I'm 26 years old. Okay, and ten years. ten years ago, how old were you? Hace diez años, ¿cuántos tenía? Sixteen. Uh, Sixteen. So you were a teenager. You were a teenager. Era un... Adolescente, ¿verdad? Adolescente. So, oh. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... And 19 are teenagers. That's the reason why the teen, right? Teenagers. So 19, 18, all of the, the ages from teen are teenagers, adolescentes, right? Very good. Now, simple present, porque eh, de aquí para adelante vamos a utilizar los tres tiempos, el pasado, el presente y el futuro. Vamos a ver con el presente. It says time expression plus subject plus simple present or present continuous, plus complement. So time expression is the ones that we studied before. Yes, the time expression, ya las vimos. Nowadays, these days, now, right? Um, Irma, can you, no, Tania, can you read the sentences for simple present, please? Tania, please. Okay. In other ways, the people that have um, two ways to go to place. This is they, teenagers, are using social media to communicate with others. Now, people pay with cash, credit cards, and only transactions. Um, Continue. No, <laughs> Sorry. So, in this case, we are uh, using two tenses. Aquí vamos, estamos usando dos tiempos. Simple present and present continuous. Esos también ya los manejan o quieren que les haga un pequeño review. Eso, eso es civil. Review. Review. Okay. <laughs> okay. Simple present. Y el present continuous también. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, okay. Present continuous. Y tenemos el futuro, ¿verdad? Eh, we have a time expression in the future, soon, in some years, uh, years, 
plus subject plus will, might, going to, and verb plus complement. Christian, can you read the sentences, please? Okay. In the future, people might invent flying cars. So, more teenagers will use glasses and smart watches to interact with others. In some years, people are going to use their finger or face to pay. To pay. Very good. Perfect. So, as you can see, over there we are using will, might, and going to. Ahí estamos usando will. El will es futuro, ¿verdad? Going to es futuro también. Y might también se puede utilizar para futuro. So, it says in the future people might invent flying cars. Podrían inventar carros voladores. Right? Soon, more teenagers will use glasses and smartwatches to interact with others. Uh, teenagers will use, usarán, ¿verdad? Will use, el will, hace que el, el verbo se pase a futuro. ¿Cómo se dice usarán? Will use. Um, estudiarán, will study, ¿verdad? Eh, comerán, will eat, ¿verdad? Así. Y la última, in some years, people are going to use their fingers or faces to pay. En algunos años, las personas van a usar sus dedos o rostros para pagar. So, are going to ban, ¿verdad? Ellos van, yo voy, tú vas, pero ir de, de hacer la acción, ¿verdad? They are going to use. is is uh, similar. Entonces, eso lo usamos para el futuro. Y de eso ya también ya lo manejan o quieren también review. Do you handle that? Eso, eso sí, ¿verdad? Eso sí. Eso sí. Okay. You don't need a review, right? Okay. Okay, very good. So we are going to have review of the simple past. Simple present and present continuous, just for you to study that. But um, these are the, the, the formulas. Estas son las formulas, okay? So you can use them for you to create sentences. Eh, Estas las pueden utilizar para ustedes que puedan crear más, más, más oraciones. Y si siguen este orden, no se van a equivocar. If you follow this order, you won't have any problem. Now, these are the time controls. As you can see, we have here past, present, and future, right? Past, a few years ago, no many people lived here. People used to shop at grocery stores. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. So all of this is past. Todo esto es pasado. Presente. These days, the population is growing so fast. Today, people shop at supermarkets. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. Todo esto es presente. Todo esto está en presente con las fórmulas que ya vimos. Los tiempos, ¿verdad? In future, right? Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. So this is future, right? Things that are going to happen. So match the phrases in column A with the appropriate information from column B. Then compare with a partner. So what we are going to do right now is just to join or match the sentences from column A from column B, right? Eso es lo último que vamos a hacer solo para ver si comprendimos. Entonces, vamos a unir la, el número uno con una de las letras. So, yo voy a leer el número uno y ustedes me dicen con qué letra va. It says, before the automobile, antes del automóvil, ¿qué hacía la gente? People used to shop at small stores. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Most people are going to work at home. People didn't travel as much from the city to city. There will probably be cities in space. People work more than 40 hours a week. People play the first game of golf. Doctors might find a cure for the common cold. ¿Cuál es? Before the automobile. People didn't. Very good. People didn't travel, right? As much from city to city. Very good. One, letter D. Number two. Before there were supermarkets, what happened? 
antes de que hubieran supermercados. People used to shop at small stores. People used to shop at small stores. Let's see. Very good. Letter A. Number three. About 500 years ago, hace 500 años, ¿qué pasó? People play the first game of golf. People play the first game of golf about 500 years ago. Let's see. It's G, right? People play the first game of golf. Very good. Perfect. Number four. In most offices today, en la mayoría de oficinas, hoy, ¿qué pasa? People work more than uh, 40 hours a week. People work more than 40 hours a week. Let's see. F, perfect. Number five. In many cities nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Perfect. Letter B. Soon. What's going to happen soon? Pronto, ¿qué va a pasar pronto? Doctor, mind the fine I feel for the common cold. Okay, mm. let's doctors mind find a cure for the common cold. Uh, probably see most people are going to work at home, right? Most people are going to work at home in the next hundred years. In the next hundred years, in los próximos 100 años. Uh, doctor might find a cure for the common cold. Yeah, doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Or people, uh, there will be probably cities in space, right? In los próximos 100 años. Or oh. sometime in the future, right? We can use also, esas pueden cambiar también porque no sabemos, right? In the future. Letter uh, number eight, H, right? Doctors might find a cure for the common <coughs> cold. But esas <coughs> pueden cambiar. Yes, you're correct. So we're going to finish right now the class. We studied a lot. Vimos bastantes cosas hoy acerca del presente, pasado y futuro. Y vamos a ver más el lunes que vamos a hacer un pequeño review de los tenses. Así que solo voy a hacer del pasado y del presente simple y del presente continuo porque el will, might, and going to creo que eso es más fácil, ¿verdad? Así que I will see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend and take care, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good Have night. a nice evening. Good night. Good night, teacher.